Hello there, Internet. Vinny D here, coming to you once again. Today, I'm going to be talking about setting up a group on DeviantArt. I thought I might make a few tutorials on the technology side of art, and I get this question a lot since I have a group of my own over on DeviantArt. So, let's get started. I'm just going to be talking by the seat of my pants here, so please excuse a little stuttering. Right away, you have my DeviantArt page, fragraham.deviantart.com. Why don't you stop by when this video is done? So, first of all, we're going to go to More and Groups. Wait for that to come up with my slow DSL out in the boonies. And click Make a Group. Wait some more for my slow DSL. And a little form will come up. Fill out that form there with your group information and click make a group and you'll have a group. I'm not actually gonna fill this out because I already have a group that I can use to demonstrate this. Don't wanna clog up DeviantArt with any more empty test groups. So, just gonna go over to mine here. Webcomic lovers. It's not about lovers in webcomics, it's about people who love webcomics and art for webcomics. And as you can see, you'll have your featured folder when you start and I recommend making a lot more small folders for other subjects. As you can see, every webcomic that I can think of, or anyone requested, gets a folder, as long as there's some art to go in it. So, we're going to go on over to our gallery. And you're going to see a quick edit here because, oops, there was porn and I didn't set this to save for work mode. Anyway, scroll down to the bottom of your folders, and New Folder. Of course, if this is a new group, you don't have any scrolling to do. Its default name is Devious Folder. Just click on that and go into it. And head over to the right, Edit Folder. And now you can change its name, give it a description. The description will appear inside the folder. I like to include the URL of the webcomic this folder is for. Obviously, you may want to include something else. So now let's get down to the meat and bones of this little tutorial and head over to the admin area. See that red circle up top? Up top, dummy. Talking to my mouse here. Yes, that one. Give it a click. Yes, it's right over there to the right of your name your group's name. You can get to it from any part of your group, even the front page. If you're the admin, it'll show up. And here you'll have some basic information. What you're looking for is manage members over there on the left. In the bar on the left, just below the name of your group. Yes, I know, it's a little ridiculous that if we want to manage the permissions for our folders, we need to manage the members, not the folders. That's crazy. I didn't say it made sense. It's just how it is, unfortunately. You could do better, DeviantArt. So now, you see, we have all these different levels and ranks within our group. We've got your administrators your contributors, your founders, and of course, the meat and bones of any group, the members. Members are the most important part of any group. Without members, there is no group. And you can set the permissions for each and every one of these separately. The only downside is you have to set the permissions for each and every one of these separately. It's really kind of annoying. Anyway, once you click on Members, you'll see a few options. They cannot modify the home page. That can't be changed. You don't want members just coming in and messing with your home page. That's administrator stuff. Maybe contributor, not member. You do want them to be able to join. 
and you'll see that option right below and it will be set to not allowed by default and of course you want to allow it you can either make it automatic or subject to vote I'd recommend making it automatic but if you want to make it subject to vote I'd suggest starting out set it to one vote because you're the only one there to vote So anyway, once you can get some members, you can get your group started. And you'll see there are some other options you can't change for members. These are for the higher ranks. Anyway, scroll on down. And you'll see the gallery options. And by default, you'll only see the featured gallery. When you create more galleries, they won't be visible right here, but they will be shortly. Anyway, you can make your featured gallery open to everyone, especially if you have a very small group and only want to maintain that one folder. In which case, you can again set it to be subject to vote or automatically approved for members. Personally, I keep mine set to not allowed because I use the featured folder for exclusive content, the very best of the best which I pick out on a monthly basis to display. Anyway, you want to click below, show all folders. And now you see all of your folders listed here. Now, mine have already been adjusted, as you can see, they're allowed and automatically approved. So as long as you're a member and submitting content, it's automatically approved on my group. By default, it's set to not allowed. So you're going to want to change that. So we're going to go down to the devious folder I just created. And as you can see, it says, are not allowed. That's the default every time a folder is created. So each time you make a new folder, you're going to have to come back and do this. And yes, it's a pain in the ass every single time. And you can change the settings here. Once again, subject to vote or automatically approved. If you wanted it to be subject to vote... You could again set it to one vote and make yourself the sole judge of what goes in and out of your group. Me, I set them to automatic approval. For non-members, which you'll see in the Any Deviant option, you can set it to vote or you can make them not allowed. That's up to you, just how much control you want over the folders or how free and open you want your group to be. Well, once you're done, you can click that little Save Now icon down in the corner, though it's also automatically saving every now and again, and will probably keep up with you anyway, every time you make a change. You can also restrict how often someone can post, and how much they can post per day, with a max limit of 10. Used to be unlimited, now it's limited to 10. DeviantArt took that away and sold it back for premium groups. Or super groups, as they call it. That kind of sucks. Some groups only let you post one a day. Some let you post one a week. Some only let you post one a month, which is pretty annoying. I mean, do you want content for your group? Do you? Me, I want lots and lots of content, so I allow the maximum 10 per day. Content is good. Content is not bad. Let everyone share. But hey, that's up to you.
If exclusivity is something you want, you can do that. So anyway, that's how you set the permissions for your new folders. And you can allow people to post in them. Now, here's the thing. You only did that for one of these levels. You're going to have to do it for all of them. Anyway, you can see here, we have other groups here. And we can set those differently. Any Deviant, that's non-member people who still have a DeviantArt account, of course. Because you need a DeviantArt account to even create art. On DeviantArt, anyway. You don't need it to create art. Anybody can create art. Don't let anyone tell you that you can't create art. But, in the subject of this video, you just need to set that setting. You can allow anybody to submit to your group, whether they're a member or not. Submit only under a vote, or not at all, restrict it to members only. Most groups only let members submit to their group. I let non-members post because, again, I like content. Lots of content. Content for everybody. But I do subject that to a vote. My vote. Only one vote. You can also set these permissions for affiliates. These are people who are not members of your group, but are a member of a group you chose to affiliate with. And that's a cool little bonus there. Groups can affiliate with each other. And maybe you want to throw a little extra to people who are in an affiliate group. Even if they're not a member of your own group, try and detract a little more membership. Then you can go up and of course you have your administrators. Administrators can do a lot more. They can be almost as powerful as the founder. That's their job. They're running the show when the founder is away. When groups get really big, they may need more administrators. Or maybe the founder doesn't want to handle all of this, but somebody else does. And we can just make them administrator. But still, even the administrators by default are not allowed to submit to folders. So you have to go in and change that too. Although strangely, administrators can probably change this themselves. Still, for every group, every level, you're going to have to manage the folder and its permissions. You also have the contributor class. Contributors are kind of a custom class, I would say. You can give them as much or as little power as you like. I like to think of contributors as people who bring content to the group, not just artwork, but could run polls, journals, contests, that sort of thing. So I give them some control, and you could even use them to help manage a very big gallery if you wanted. What the contributor's job is? Well, that's up to you. You've got a lot of options here. Things to explore. I think they're mostly self-explanatory. However, even still, you've got to set their permissions for the gallery the same as everything else. The sole exception is founder and co-founder, who can do pretty much anything. also set contributors to be able to apply to the position or you can make it invitation only just by setting it from not allowed or subject to vote and once you're done with that here's a few other things you can do you can check out the group notes for your uh, group yeah group notes for your group 
I told you I was talking by the seat of my pants. Anyway, as you can see, most of mine are requests for folders. I usually grant those as long as there's something to go in them. You may get other kinds of notes. That really depends on what your group's all about. Lastly, I talked about affiliates before, and if you look up top, that little affiliate link is right up there. And you can make affiliates to your group. You can also arrange the layout of your group. Just click that little affiliates button, wait for that to come up, type in the name of the group you want to affiliate with, and send and it'll send a request and then it's up to them if they want their group to be an official affiliate with your group. And that's all there really is to say about groups unless you want to become a super group which I'm not paying for. So I hope that was helpful for people trying to get their group off the ground. I hope you'll come check out my group that's Webcomic Lovers on DeviantArt. And if you love webcomics, check it out. If you like webcomics, and you're not already reading my webcomic, why don't you check that out too at antibunny.com. Thanks for listening. This is Vinny D out. Be good.